Are you ready to discover a project future that will transform your workflow? Join us in this detailed tutorial from our expert trainer who walks you through each step. Let's get started. We recognize that it's important to deal with resources. And the key issue here is that when we split a project, we need to make sure that those projects are using the same resources. And the way that we do that is to set up what we call a resource pool. Once we've set up a resource pool, we can then share that resource pool amongst several projects. So currently we have our two files and you can see that I've got them both open on the screen just here. Now, just a quick side note about project and opening multiple files. What you'll find is that if you try and double click in File Explorer to open two separate project files, they open in the same project window because we only have one project license. It's not like an application like Excel where you can have multiple Excel windows open to view different files. Now, the way to get around that and to arrange files like I have them here, you can see I have both of my files open in the same project window, is simply to jump up to the View tab, go over to the Window group, and you can see we have an Arrange All button just here. And that's all I've done. I've clicked Arrange All and arrange my windows so they take up half of the screen equally. So that's just a side note if you're wondering how I got to this point. So now we have both of these files open. One thing to note is that the original charity event file, which we have on the right hand side here, still contains all of the sports day tasks. Remember, we copied and pasted those into the sports day file that you can see on the left hand side. Now we will need to remove those from the original file eventually. But before we do that, we're going to set up a resource pool. Now, the key aspects here when it comes to setting up a resource pool is that we basically set up a brand new project with resources, but no tasks. And really, if this is something that you want to do, you want to try and do this at the outset of the project. So what many people will do is they'll start off with an empty MPP file. They'll enter the resources, make up the resource pool and save the project, but with no tasks. So I've closed down the smaller sports day file. So we're just back at our original charity event file. And if we switch across to the resource sheet, we can see that we have a pretty good base for our resource pool because we have all of our resources listed in here. So what we're basically going to do is we're going to make a copy of this file by saving it as a different name. And then we're just simply going to remove all of the tasks. So let's jump up to file and down to save as. I'm going to save mine into the course files folder and I'm just going to call this charity event underscore resources .mpp. and let's click on save. So we're now working in that file. So let's jump back to the Gantt chart view and what we're going to do is we're simply going to remove all of the tasks. So if we click on the square in the top left hand corner just here, it's going to select everything and we can simply press the delete key on our keyboard. I'm getting a little warning from the planning wizard. Do I want to delete multiple selected summary tasks and their subtasks? Yes, I do. Let's click on OK. And all of those tasks are gone, but we still have our resources listed out on the resource sheet. So this is now effectively my resource pool. So let's give this a quick save and I'm going to reopen the other file, the sports day file. So what we need to do here is we need to specify that this project uses the resource pool that we just created. So from here, we're going to switch across to the resource sheet. And remember, you can switch across using the icons in the bottom right hand corner in the status bar, or you can jump up to view and resource sheet is just here. So let's click on resource sheet. You can see the current resources that we have that limited list. But if we jump across to resource and into assignments, we have a resource pool option. So let's click share resources. And this is where we get to select the resource pool. So from here, if we choose the second option, use resources, we can then choose where our resource pool is located. And the important thing to note here is that you need to have that file open in order for the drop down to recognize it. So I still have my resource pool open. There it is, charity event underscore resources. This is the file we're going to be using. And then we have options for on conflict with calendar or resource information. The pool takes precedence or the sharer takes precedence. Now we're going to look at this in a bit more detail a bit later on. 
But what can sometimes happen is that there may be a conflict between the resource pool and any calendars applying to the resources in the resource pool and calendars in the sharing project. So we need to specify which takes precedence, the pool or the sharer. Now, before we do this, I'm actually going to click on cancel here because I want to demonstrate what happens to over allocated tasks when we assign a resource pool. So let's jump back to Gantt chart view for one moment. If you take a look in our task, you can see that task 10 is currently showing as over allocated. That's the little red icon we can see in that first column. So now if we go back to resource pool and share resources, we're going to make sure we're using resources from our charity event resources file. We're going to say the pool takes precedence. When I click OK, watch what happens to task 10. You can see that that over allocation is resolved. And that's because if we now go to our resource sheet, this project is using the resource pool and not just the two resources that were included when we copied the tasks across. So what we now have is a resource pool and a project that is using that resource pool. Now, the other thing that we need to do is we need to get the original file, the charity event project to use the resource pool as well. So let's open it up. So we're going to do exactly the same thing. We're going to jump up to resource pool, share resources, use resources from the charity event resources file. And once again, the pool takes precedence. Let's click on OK. Now, notice that as soon as I did this, we now have over allocations for the Sports Day PM and the volunteer. And that's really related to the fact that we have the Sports Day event in two different files. If you recall, when we copied the tasks across, we didn't delete them from the charity event file, which is why we've got these over allocations. And we are going to deal with those in a moment. So just put that to the back of your mind. Now, what we're going to be doing over the next couple of sections is that we are going to split this charity event project up because at the moment we've only sectioned off the sports day part of this event. But before we get on to that, just one or two important points about resource sharing. As I mentioned, if we go back to our resource sheet, we now have these over allocations. And something that can be really helpful is being able to view which resources are assigned to which projects. That can be very helpful when it comes to dealing with over allocations. So for this, we're going to switch to resource usage view. Let's widen out this column and we're going to add a new column so that we can see the project that each resource is assigned to. So if we widen this out, we can see at the top we have some unassigned resources, but we can also see the projects in this column where those resources exist. And if we scroll down to the Sports Day section, I can see that the Sports Day PM, the Sports Day Project Manager, that resource is being used in both the Sports Day project file and also the original charity event file. So adding this project column into your resource usage sheet can be super helpful, particularly when you're trying to deal with over allocations and see which resources you have allocated to which projects. Now, one final point before we finish this lesson. It's not necessarily the case that all projects that share a resource pool are always consolidated into one project. You might find you have a situation where another project that is completely unrelated to this event is also using the same shared resource pool. So what I'm trying to say is when you're working with a resource pool, it might have a whole mixture of different projects that are using its resources. Are you happy with this training? Make sure to subscribe for more great content. Visit the Simon Says It channel, explore our videos and training sessions, and decide what you want to learn next.